All right, our next lesson is on tax tip and markup. Um, tax tip and markup all make the price of an item or a meal go up. So tax is basically money collected um, by the government on purchases, and your tip is money that's given in addition to the cost for good service. So for example, if you're getting your hair cut, or you go out to dinner, or your nails done, or anything along those lines that would cause you to um, be appreciative that you got a good service, you can leave a tip for that. Markup then is the money that's added to the price of an item for the store to be able to make a profit. So for example, when Walmart or Target or whatever actually um, gets an iPad and they go to sell it, they actually increase the price so that Target itself can actually make some money off the sale of that product. Um, so that is kind of what happens with what's called markup. And certain companies, for example, like Apple, will probably put on their own markup onto the item itself. So for example, if you go to buy an iPad, Apple will put a markup onto the item and then Target will also put a markup onto the item so that both Apple is making money and also Target's making money then too. Um, in example one here, here's a copy of a receipt. Um, this is actually my receipt from a recent Staples shopping trip where I went for binders. Um, and it says, find the amount of sales tax. We're going to use 6% because that's ours. And we're going to fill in this receipt then. So if you look, I purchased 10 orange better binders from Staples. They were $8.49 each. Um, so $84.90. My rewards price was $4.0.245. So it ended up being $42.45 that I got off. Um, I also had another coupon, which deducted the price, which brought me down to my subtotal. In this, you're going to notice that... Um, special discounts and special coupons are actually going to come off prior to us calculating sales tax and that is accurate. So if we take um, my total subtotal of 2122, our standard tax is 6% which we are going to use as 0.06 because we're going to change it to a decimal. So if we do 0 0.06 times $21.22, show you my calculator here, um, you get 1.273 so 1.27 itself would be our tax. So then what we do is we take our 21, 22, and we add on our dollar 27 for our sales tax. Help if I could type into the calculator here. And we do get a total of $22.49 then for our final total when I went to check out. Um, just like with discount, there are actually two methods of calculating tax, tip, and markup. So method one is going to be similar, only instead of doing a subtraction problem at the end, we'll now do an addition problem because this makes it go up. So if we want to do example two, it says Drew wants to buy exercise equipment that costs $140 and there's a 5.5% sales tax. How much is the equipment? So we first need to calculate if we're using method one, 5.5 cents, 5.5% uh, of $140. Your percent, you need to move the decimal point two places back to the left. We have an empty spot, so we're going to have 0 0.055 will actually be our decimal times $140. And that will give us... I got 7.7, .7, which really means $7.70. And we're going to call this tax. Now, little tip and trick for this lesson. Tax starts with a T, which reminds you to go back and add that on. Looks like a plus sign. So you have $140 gym equipment plus $7.70. You're going to spend $147.70. Now, just like discount, you could also take that 100%, which is the cost of the item, and instead of subtracting it, the sales tax gets added on. So we can add the 5.5% which gives us a total of 105.5%. As a decimal, boom, boom, 1.055, and we can multiply that times the cost of our item, our gym equipment. And in doing that, just wanna to prove to you, when you actually multiply those together, we still get the $147.70 then. So again, either method is your choice. You are welcome to pick whichever one makes you happier. Um, I will go through for all of our examples here and show you um, both method one and method two, except for the last examples, and we'll just be checking our answers. 
In example three, a store pays $150 for a portable basketball system. The markup is 40%. What's the selling price? So the selling price is what we call the price that the store sells it to you for after they take care of the markup. So using method one, we're going to do 40% or 0 0.4 times $150. And that will give us $60. I'm going to call this markup. Mark up reminds you that you're going to be going up with your price. So you have your $150 basketball system plus your $60 markup. Your selling cost would be $210 then. If I use method two, 100% plus 40% is going to give me 140% which would translate to 1.4 as a decimal times $150. And again, just to prove that these are the same, there is that calculation as well. So your selling price with method two is also $210. In example four, um, Tom and two friends go to Applebee's for dinner. Bill, their bill comes to $48.50. They want to leave an 18% tip. How much is the final bill and what would each friend's contribution be if they split it equally? So in method one, here's our bill. We want to leave an 18% tip. So we're going to do 18% of $48.50. And that would be a tip value of $8.73 tip. Tip again starts with a T, so it reminds you to add. Trying to type on a calculator one-handed here is not very easily. So if I take that, add it in, $57.23 is their total meal. If I want to do method two, I'm going to add 100 plus 18, so 118% or 1.18 times 48.50. And again, just to prove the point, we also get $57.23. Now, the only problem is we're not done. That's part one. How much is the final bill? And then it says, what would each friend's contribution if they split it equally? So you have to realize it's Tom and two friends, which really mean there are three people, Tom and his two friends. So we'd basically take the bill and divide it by three. So each person, if I look at this on my calculator, 19.076. So the 07 is where I'm going to stop, but the six tells me I have to round up to $19 and eight cents per person. Now, if you actually go back and calculate that 19 and 08 cents times three, we're gonna actually end up with 57.24. So they will actually end up with one extra cent um, added to their final amount, but this allows it to be split equally. Um, so why would one method sometimes be easier in this scenario? So one of the things that kind of comes up is if you leave your tip separately on the table after you've already paid your bill, um, in that case, you would have to split up the 4850 first between the three friends and then split your tip between the two, the, between the three friends as well. If you were just looking at the total and each putting in cash and just said to the waiter, here you go, here's the pile, keep the rest for you, um, using method two would probably be an easier situation. I'm mean, going to have you take a minute, um, pause the video, try one, two, and three, and then when you come back, I'll have the answers ready for you. So here you go. These are the answers to the video, um, to these questions, sorry. <clears throat> so if I look at number one, $55. Number two, you have to be careful. It just asks for the tax amount, not the total. So you actually just need to multiply the sales tax rate by the price. And lastly, number three, I showed you method one and method two here for the selling prices.